On this show, we like to uh, read you a little random Bible chapter of the day because a, uh, a verse, a verse is like a little pebble, you know, any little pebble. And, uh, you know, when somebody's trying to give you directions, nobody says, hey, look at that little pebble. Turn left there at that landmark, that little pebble. Or turn right at that small little tiny rock. No. You want a boulder. You want a landmark. So, let's go ahead and read you a random chapter of the day. You guys ready? All righty. One, a two, a three. Galatians 1. All righty. Here we go. A little Galatians 1 to start the week. Paul, an apostle, not sent from men nor through the agency of man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren who are with me, to the churches of Galatia. Galatia. I guess that's Galatians. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins so that he might rescue us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forevermore. Amen. I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, which is really not another. Only there are some who are destroyed who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven shall preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. As we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, he is to be accursed. For am I now seeking the favor of men or of God? Or am I striving to please men? If I were still trying to please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. For I would have you know, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former manner of life in Judaism, how I used to persecute the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my con- contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. But when God, who has set me apart even from my mother's womb and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to- in me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went away to Arabia and returned once more to, Ma- to Damascus. Thank you for the follow. And three years later, I went up to Jerusalem to become acquainted with Cephas, Cephas and stayed with him 15 days. But I, not, but I did not see any other of the apostles except James, but the Lord's brother. Excuse me. Now in what I am writing to you, I assure you before God that I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea, when, which were in Christ, but only they kept hearing, he who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith which he once tried to destroy. And they were glorifying God because of me. Oh, man. man. This is one of those, like, hold on. They just left us here on the first episode. Who made these chapters? Who 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 stopped it here? Oh man. Well, if you guys want to keep reading on, I I suggest you 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 open it up. Uh yeah, Galatians one. That's the random chapter of the day. Thank you guys for joining me.